Let me tell you guys a little secret. When it comes to building generational wealth, finding the perfect asset is only half of the equation. There is something else you absolutely need to be doing in order to create and sustain that long-term wealth. In this video, we're gonna talk about what that thing is because this is something that is often ignored or attributed to luck. I wanna go over exactly how you can really create generational wealth by investing into assets like XRP. Us as cryptocurrency investors are on the verge of a transformational asset class, an asset class that has the potential to completely reshape the financial system. But if you do not do this one thing, it is very likely you could invest in the perfect asset, but still not build generational wealth off of that asset. In this video, I want to show you examples throughout history about how people invested into assets created generational wealth in order to give you a better understanding on exactly how you can do it. So I wanna start out this video and actually show you guys a clip that I believe is absolutely critical to understanding the psychology of investing. It's one of the biggest things that I think people in crypto completely forget about. We have all done the hard work to find our investment. A lot of us here in the XRP community believe that XRP is going to be a digital asset that completely reshapes the financial system. We understand that the internet has disrupted many different industries, whether it's transportation, whether or not it's community communication, whether it's commerce, all of these industries have been completely disrupted by the internet. But one of the things the internet is yet to disrupt is the rails of the financial system, how money actually moves on a layer zero basis. Guys, we believe that XRP and other digital currencies can be absolutely critical in upgrading the rails of the financial system. And we have already done the hard work to find this asset. But when it comes to building generational wealth, there is still something else you absolutely need to do if you actually want to hold on to this asset and watch those gains appreciate in your portfolio. Guys, I want to start off and show you someone who has done it before. This is a video of a guy who invested in Bitcoin in 2013 and it held it all the way to 2021. And it's kind of a comical video, but I want to go over a very important lesson you can take from this video and apply to your own situation. So listen up to this. The question on everyone's minds is, did he hodl? Bitcoin is now up to $111. Come on, come on. What kind of question is that? Of course I did. I hodled, I bought more, and I've hodled again. I've hodled everything. I've hodled every single thing. And that so far has been the best decision that I've ever made financially in my life. You literally just buy and you hodl. Keep those diamond hands. So guys, it's kind of a comical video, but we need to take a very important lesson from it. One, this guy is just like a lot of you. He did not have some special knowledge. He's not some super genius. All he did was find an asset and develop an investment thesis based on that asset for what that asset could one day become. And when he was buying Bitcoin, right, everyone was saying it was worthless. Everyone was saying it was a scam. Everyone was telling him you need to stay away from Bitcoin. But he bought it anyway because he had a vision for what Bitcoin could one day become. I find a lot of people who I talk to on a daily basis have a really hard time superimposing themselves on some of these people who have been successful before. A lot of people I talk to say, oh, I hope I get lucky with my digital asset just like other people have. Guys, you need to understand there is always going to be a new investment. There is always going to be a new thing to profit off of. Take a look at the stock market. Take a look at the crypto market. There are hundreds of assets that have appreciated tens of thousands of percents over your lifetime. You just need to have the conviction. You need to have the thesis early on in one of these assets to allow you to hold it for its entire maturity. What we watched in this video is a guy who created an investment thesis around Bitcoin and stuck to it. He had to listen to everyone telling him he was wrong. He had to be invested in Bitcoin when the price action was scary or when it, was, it wasn't moving. But what he did was he created an investment thesis that didn't have to do with price in the short term. He understood things were going to take time. And as the rest of the market figured out what he already knew, eventually the price would appreciate and go to levels that he probably probably didn't even think was possible. But what's the other important thing we need to take away from this? Well, why didn't he sell, right? Why didn't he sell when his Bitcoin was at a 2X? How many people have you heard say, oh, I had so much Bitcoin in the early days, but I dumped it too early? Guys, 
The reason he was able to hold on to his Bitcoin this entire time was because his investment thesis was not based on arbitrary prices. His investment thesis wasn't based off arbitrary returns. His investment thesis was based on a long term need for an asset like Bitcoin. His long term investment thesis was that Bitcoin was a new and novel currency that was only going to become more and more important in the world. And if your investment thesis was that every single year from 2013, Bitcoin was going to become more important and more valuable, then why would you ever sell before you thought that investment thesis might be altered? Guys, I want to show you a chart of XRP and kind of play this exact scenario on an investment you guys hold because I think it's going to be a little more relatable. Guys, I love to go to the XRP price chart and go to the early days because it is so, so interesting to me to kind of look at what was happening in the early days of XRP and see how people in the XRP community today might have reacted. Guys, what you're looking at right here is XRP trading at less than a penny. And during this time period, XRP traded at less than a penny for over five years. It was trading sideways, no volume, wasn't moving. Everyone was screaming XRP was dead. Everyone was screaming XRP was going away. It was a banker coin. It was a failure. All these other digital assets were going up. XRP wasn't moving. Why would you hold XRP? Well, guys, if you were if your investment thesis was based on what XRP was doing at the current moment in terms of price and listening to other people's theories, then you would have sold XRP, right? You would have never actually held on to it. But if your investment thesis was based on XRP, the asset being transformational to the financial system, XRP, the asset being useful to financial institutions to facilitate money transfers, then you would have held on to the asset and been subjected to one of the most parabolic movements the cryptocurrency industry has ever seen. A, a movement so parabolic, it's hard to even fathom what it does to a price chart. It completely washes away the early price action. But what is so critical to understand? There was no easy time here. If you were investing in XRP in the early days, you had to deal with the FUD. You had to deal with being early. And if you wanted to buy XRP when the price was already moving, like a lot of people like to do, you would have missed out on all the gains. It would have been too late. And that same exact logic can be applied today. What we are looking at is still in the very early days for a digital asset like XRP. We still don't have mainstream adoption. We still don't have regulations. We still don't have large institutions able to invest large sums of money in this asset class. And in the same ways as the very early days for XRP, where people were getting scared because the price wasn't moving, people were getting scared because other coins were moving faster. Guys, those people that are worried completely forget that the early price action for XRP tells us that if you were to invest based on price action, it doesn't actually tell you what could be right around the corner. And those people who are so focused on price action are likely going to sell too early and get out of their investment because it's not based on a core belief of what XRP could one day become. I want to show you a more traditional example now, which is Apple stock. Guys, what you're looking at right here, this circled spot on the chart, is where the iPhone was released. I don't think it takes a genius to look at Apple, to look at the iPhone in 2008 and say, OK, this is a pretty transformational product, right? You don't have to be some mega genius to look at something like Apple, something like Amazon, something like Google in 2008 and say, OK, well, Google is the only search engine anyone's using. Apple is the only company with a smartphone and Amazon is the only company doing e-commerce. These might be important companies in the future. Now, if your investment thesis was, OK, as soon as one of these stocks doubles, I'm going to sell out. Well, you would have rode Apple from three dollars to six dollars and you would have made a hundred percent gain. Yeah, that's great and all. But this is why I talked about in the beginning of this video, creating generational wealth, long term, sustainable wealth. These things are not created by flipping a stock, flipping a cryptocurrency. Long term generational wealth is created by a thesis, a thesis that this company or this asset is going to completely change the world. And what do we see? We see that the people who just held on to Apple, didn't do anything, didn't try to overcomplicate anything, ended up actually getting a gain as of today. And it's continuing to go up close to eight thousand percent. 
Now, it wasn't that complicated, right? All you had to do was look at Apple creating the iPhone and saying, okay, they're about to dominate in one way or another. Maybe let's monitor the situation as things progress and see if they continue to dominate. Guys, what you can see based on this chart is there wasn't even that many scary moments along this ride. It, it was fairly up and to the right in the same exact way Bitcoin was up and to the right. So what's the most important thing that we can learn here? Developing an investment thesis, understanding what you hold, allows you to get through the scary times and hold through the exciting times. It puts you in a position where you're not worried about the FUD because you understand the asset, but you're also not panicking with greed if you do get a 20 to 30 or 100% return because you likely have an investment thesis that far out secedes those short-term gains. For me with XRP, I don't care if XRP doubles. I don't care if XRP goes up to 3X because I am focused on XRP becoming a transformational part of the financial system. And for me, that's not something that's going to happen in a day or two. It's not something that's going to happen in a year. It's something that's going to happen over time. And I have the ability to continue to monitor the market, to continue to monitor where XRP stands in this transformation that's going to happen in front of us and see how my investment thesis is playing out and I can change my investment plans based on what is happening in front of me. Guys, what I have seen is people who find transformational assets early on typically have to deal with FUD. But after they get through the FUD and after they are right, I see a lot of people panic and sell too early. They don't have the confidence to actually understand that they could have found that next big thing. What this video is really designed to do is show you it's not impossible to find that next big thing. And in fact, it's actually a lot more obvious than many people think. Most people make the mistake of being hyperactive, getting scared out, or selling too early. This video is to show you you can be early just like other people have been. And if you do find that transformational asset, that thing you think really has the potential to be the next big thing, sometimes the best thing you can do is absolutely nothing and just trust your thesis will play out with time. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. These two things are really going to help me out so much. And for now, make a lout.